German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is preparing to testify for a second time in an investigation into a scandal that has undermined trust in Germany's financial institutions and government oversight. Companies and investors defrauded the German state of billions of euros in the so-called Comex Stant scandal. The uh, scandal came to light five years ago when Scholz was mayor of Hamburg. Investigators want to know about meetings he had with one of the banks involved back then. But so far, he says he doesn't remember. What did he know when? For years now, Olaf Scholz has not been able to shake off Germany's biggest ever tax scandal. When he was mayor of Hamburg, he met with officials from Warburg Bank. It owed the city of Hamburg 47 million euros for claiming refunds on taxes it never paid. After Scholz met the bank's officials, Hamburg authorities dropped their demands. At first, Scholz falsely claimed those meetings didn't happen, but was proven wrong. Now he says he cannot remember what was discussed and has been keen to stress there is no connection between his meetings and the city backing down. There is growing mistrust in his version of events. It is unlikely that he cannot remember anything from these meetings. Um, during those meetings or phone calls, uh, it was about nearly 50 million euro for his city in tax revenue. The whole aspect of working here with the salami tactic of just uh, admitting what he has to admit and once more has been um, proven, he will admit more obviously makes it that much more doubtful that there is just no memory at all. So far, prosecutors do not see any breach of the law. The scandal is hitting the headlines again now because a former Hamburg MP from Scholz's party had stashed away 200,000 euros in cash. And that MP's district had received money from Warburg Bank before. As yet, nobody knows where the cash came from and Scholz has denied any knowledge. What do you know about the cash in the former MP's safe deposit box? Nothing. Next question, where do you think it came from? No idea. I guess you know better than I do. Whatever emerges from today's hearing, it surely won't be the end of the story. Let's bring in our political correspondent Nina Haase here. Nina, Chancellor Olaf Scholz is due to testify in this tax scandal today. Is he expected to shed any light on it? Well, I wouldn't expect that to ha happen, Terry, because um, Olaf Scholz's strategy is to stick to what he's been saying all along. He can't remember the details of the conversations with the officials from the bank. And you have to keep in mind that some 50 witnesses have been heard so far in, by this committee. And there is no evidence so far, even after all these statements, that he knows more than he is saying or that he even played an active role. So I don't think that we're going to be learning much um, new information today. Now, Schultz himself is not the target of this investigation, it must be said. He's uh, appearing only as a witness relating to his former role as mayor of Hamburg. So why is this still a potential danger for him, Nina? Yes, that is actually, this is the big question that we have to address. Look, Terry, this scandal is about a very complicated story. I doubt that many Germans even understand just how this tax fraud model worked. They don't know enough. They don't know who could have stopped it, where and when. And it is correct, Olaf Scholz is not the target of investigation himself. He is a witness regarding something that happened while he was mayor in Hamburg. But keep in mind, Cum-Ex didn't just happen happen in Hamburg. It went on for years. German taxpayers lost billions of euros and still to this day no politician in Germany has assumed responsibility for this biggest tax fraud in German history. So now pressure is mounting on Olaf Scholz because of course he's no longer just the mayor of Hamburg. He is now the German chancellor. And of course trust, confidence, transparency, they're all vital assets in that position. And some members of the opposition are saying that it's his handling of this story now that is the big scandal, that he says he can't remember meeting those officials, he hasn't taken more initiative in actively trying to shed light on this story, and that all of that is not worthy of his position as Chancellor. So some are even demanding he resign. But whatever happens today, this story will continue to haunt him unless he takes an active step in trying to shed some light. Nina, thank you very much. Our political correspondent, Nina Haase, there.